My dear friends, this year our church of St. John the Baptist, Pilen, is celebrating 365 years of its foundation. We know that this number is a very significant number as it signifies the number of days in the year. Though it's not a jubilee, but this year is very significant for us because our church enters into a very significant year. And in view of this, we have chosen something unique this, this year. That is, one family will be prayed for in the Mass. And also, the family will come and give a gospel reflection. So it's like throughout the year, all the families that are there will be prayed for. And uh, we know that the Word of God is alive and active. It can touch and change our life as our saint, as our patron, St. John the Baptist, preach the Word and call for repentance. Let this Word touch the families and uh, may it lead you to change your life. I wish you all the best in this journey of 365 days of our uh, year of this year and may St. John the Baptist intercede for us. Today's word of God is taken from Luke chapter 11 47 to 54 Woe to you for you build the tombs of the prophets whom you, your ancestors killed. So you are witnesses and approve of the deeds of ancestors. For they killed them, and you build their tombs. Therefore also the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and persecute, so that the generation may be charged with the blood of all prophets shared since the foundation of the world. From the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who perished between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, it will be charged against the generation. Woe to you, lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. You do not enter yourself, and you hinder those who are entering. When he went outside, the scribes and Pharisees began to be very hostile towards him and to cross-examine him about many things. Lying in wait for him to catch him, in something you might say. The word of the Lord. In today's gospel reading, Jesus criticizes the lawyers, the experts in Jewish religious law, for taking away the key of knowledge. Their studies should have given them access to God's truth and to the person of Jesus who was the full revelation of God's truth. However, not only are they in the process of rejecting Jesus, they are also influencing others to do the same. In the words of the Gospel reading, they have not gone in themselves and have prevented others going in who wanted to. Jesus was always very critical of those who were an obstacle to other people coming to faith in him who prevented others from coming to discover him as God's truth for themselves. If, like the lawyers, we do not go in ourselves, if we are not trying to come to Jesus ourselves, that we also the cause of then we will not be able to lead others to Jesus and may well find themselves that we also the cause of preventing others from going to him. The reverse is also true. That is, as we grow in our relationship with Jesus, we make it easier for others to do the same. We have an influence on each other's faith in one direction or another. If we are trying to grow in faith, we won't necessarily lead others to the Lord. However, if our faith is growing ever weaker, 
we certainly won't lead others to the Lord. Therefore, our primary responsibility is to go in ourselves in the language of the gospel reading. Having done so, we can be sure that the Lord will find a way to work through us to touch the lives of others. Loving Father, we thank you for this beautiful church as it celebrates 365 years of its foundation. May each and every member of this parish be blessed with good health, peace and lasting happiness. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of our patron, St. John the Baptist, who was sent by you to prepare the way for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. May he help us to work for justice and liberty as we walk this path of faith and self-renewal. As members belonging to the parish of St. John the Baptist, we pray that we may grow in love and show respect and concern to our fellow brothers and sisters. May our devotion to you, O great St. John the Baptist, open our minds to live a life of sharing in our families, society and church. We pray that our families may be reflections of the home of Jesus of Nazareth. We pray for today's family. May our small Christian communities be models of prayer, love and unity. Through the Eucharist, may our ties with our fellow pilgrims be strengthened. Give us the grace to walk together along with our fellow pilgrims, making our community a vibrant one. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. Today we pray for the family of Philip, Crystalin, and Natalie. And as today again, Jesus rebukes the Pharisees because of their dupli duplicity. Jesus also cautions us against this, this attitude of showing a duplicate life. He calls us to abide by his word so that we may change our ways and be true to him and true to ourselves. We pray for Philip, for Celine and Natalie, that they may always practice his word and be true to themselves. May the Almighty wish the ask the Christ our Lord. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you.